guys and welcome back to Dylan's Kitchen. Today we're doing something new. Wait. This is good, it's 154. <laughs> You know what, it's Thanksgiving, guys, and when you got a chicken on the grill, do you forget about it? You come running out here, what a blessing it is to see it's not at 160 yet. Now, you cook chicken to 165, but we're gonna take it off at 160, just gonna continue to cooking till 165. Hey guys, and welcome back to Dylan's Kitchen. It is Thanksgiving Day, and I wanna wish you all, from my family to yours, a happy Thanksgiving. Today, I'm gonna make something that I have never made before. We are gonna make deviled eggs. I have an idea how you make them, and I'm just gonna go for it. So, we're gonna start by getting the eggs. Now, we're gonna do six eggs, and six eggs is gonna make 12 deviled eggs, because we're gonna be chopping them in half. So, I'm gonna grab six eggs, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We got a pot over here. I'm gonna put the eggs in the pot. Be very careful because they are fragile and they will break. Then I'm gonna come over here and put water just above the eggs. All right, now we're gonna come over here. We have eggs in a pot with water just about this much above the egg. We're gonna put these eggs on high. And then when they come to a boil, we're gonna take this lid, we're gonna put the lid on top of the eggs. Take it off the heat and let it sit for 10 minutes. Then they should be hard boiled eggs. So our eggs are now boiling. We're gonna turn off the heat and remove them from the heat. Put a lid on them. We're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, we'll have nice hard boiled eggs and we'll see you here in a little bit. Do I put the eggs in an ice water bath? All right guys, so we are back. Our eggs uh, just went off the timer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna create an ice water bath. And we're doing this in the way that the eggs don't overcook. You don't want them too dry and overcook. So we're gonna make an ice water bath, take the eggs out and put them in this ice water bath. This will stop the cooking of the eggs and make it where it's easy for us to peel it because you don't want to peel a really hot egg. I'm just getting nervous. You know? And I, I can do it. All right, now, now we've got the eggs and the ice water bath, we're gonna take them out. We're gonna kinda hit them all around, crack the eggs, and then peel off the eggs. Now we're gonna be very gentle because we want to have beautiful deviled eggs. This ain't looking so beautiful. Now keep in mind, this is my first time doing this ever. <laughs> okay, this one's fucked. So <laughs> we're gonna have on the ice water bath for a little bit longer. I just completely fucked up this one egg, so I'll probably just eat it. Uh, hey, cooking's a learning experience. Get in that kitchen, have fun, and experiment. You know, if it turns out like shit, it turns out like shit. I think they're still a little bit too hot. We're gonna let them cool off this ice water pad for a little bit longer. And then I think it'll be time to perfectly. God, that sounds stupid. <laughs> All right, we'll get back with you in just a second. <laughs> Cooking is a learning experience. If you've never done something before, I advise you to hop into that kitchen, try it out. If you fail, you, you learn from your failures and you can create something amazing in the end. If you try it over and over and over, you're gonna get really good at it. Uh, so, what I've just learned from this is we're going to have to let these sit in the ice water bath for a little bit longer. Let them cool off completely. Uh, and then we'll try to peel them off and cut them in half and start the deviled eggs. Who really likes turkey? So we decided to do chickens. Now we need to step outside and see if this chicken's about ready. Now normally, uh, chicken, you cook chicken to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, however, if you want a nice, very good, juicy chicken, you want to cook that chicken to about 160, and then once it hits 160, you're gonna take it off that grill and wrap it up in aluminum foil and it'll cook up to 165 while it's resting. 
All right, so we have a temperature probe that is put into the chicken. If you don't have one of these, you've got to get one. That way that you know when your chicken's done. You don't want to overcook your chicken and have dry chicken. And then all your family and friends that are coming over to visit are like, mmm, it's good. But they're really thinking this is some dry ass chicken. So, uh, also, we have a biotherm, which we'll use as well to temp it, to temp different spots of it to make sure that the whole chicken is cooked fully. The probe goes in the center. Once it hits 160, it will start beeping. And then we'll take it off at 160. We will wrap it in aluminum foil and uh, it will cook up itself while it's resting in 165. Okay, we're at 161, 168. And we are good to go. This chicken is done. I'm gonna reach down here and we're just gonna grab this chicken. Look at that, guys. So juicy and beautiful. Smells amazing. We're gonna put it on the pan. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're probably done with this grill. So we'll just go ahead and turn this baby off and we'll take our chicken. This chicken is very simple. I wanna give a shout out to Sam the Cooking Guy. We used, utilized his seasonings for this chicken. Uh, basted it with butter. We did a brine, let it soak overnight. Dried it, rub some butter up under the skin, seasoned it all up. It's gonna be phenomenal. I could not figure out exactly how to do the egg properly, so I have to bring in Madre to come in here and show me exactly how to do the eggs. And so she's gonna peel them off for me, then I'm gonna go from there. Some really do good and some don't. And it's patience that I don't necessarily have. All right guys, so we are taking our boiled eggs that we have peeled and we're cutting them right down the center. Look how beautiful these eggs are. They're so beautiful. I will say to make deviled eggs, I never realized how much hard work it actually is. It's kind of a lot of work. And it's delicate and you have to be very patient uh, to make these. Now, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take a spoon. We're gonna spoon out the yolk part of the egg and we're gonna put it into a bowl. So we're gonna just go slowly with it. Oh, that was not bad at all. <laughs> oaks right here. We're gonna put a little bit of Duke's mayonnaise, never had it before. All right, just take and start mashing up those eggs. You gotta mash up. Oh my God. These are gonna be the best deviled eggs you've probably ever had in your life. Wow. Oh my God, that's damn good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, we are going to take this mixture, put it in our eggs, a little bit of smoked paprika on top, and then we're done. All right, we're gonna take this amazing mixture right here. And I'm a little bit scared that we're not gonna have enough for all these eggs that we have. But people make deviled eggs, they've been making them for years, and it always works out. So here's my delicious deviled eggs that I've made for the first time ever. Let's see how they turned out. Mm -hmm. We have to say, we probably some of the best damn deviled eggs I've ever had in my life. Damn good deviled eggs I've ever had in my life. Those are so good. Go home, experiment in your kitchen. You know how to do it. Look up the recipe, buy the ingredients, make it. It is so good and it's so worth it. She did that all oh, by herself. <laughs> oh! Happy New Year! Happy Thanksgiving and have a nice day. <laughs>